Minnesota gun control advocates rallied at the Capitol this week, urging the Republican-controlled Senate to take up two bills that are close to passing the House. Meanwhile, a Robbinsdale gun shop is seeing an increase in sales. Reporter Meredith Hackler explains why. Gun laws are no question a dividing topic, but feeling safe in your own home has no party lines. We see people from both sides of the fence coming here, right? There is no, this is not a just a Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative conversation. There, sa safety is important to a lot of people. While safety is important to a lot of people, gun shop owners like Munson say, when discussions at the Capitol surround gun control, they see an increase of people wanting to buy. Anytime there's a discussion from a political standpoint that always has an impact, positive, negative, it go either way depending on the conversation. Um, but when they start talking about changing the rules and background checks and stuff like that, people kind of get that, that sense of I should do it before kind of thing. So we definitely do see an increase based on that. Right now, the discussion is surrounding a red flag bill, which would allow police or family members to petition a court to temporarily seize someone's gun if they are deemed a threat to themselves or others. The DFL backed bill has support of Republican governors in other states. Two weeks ago, I was with the National Governors Association and I was sitting with Governor Ducey from Arizona and Governor DeSantos from Florida, who both carried the red flag law that is exactly like the one here and passed it in Republican houses and Republican Senate. And when that piece of legislation was offered up here, it was called crazy and extreme by Republicans in the Senate. The governor feels the public is asking for stricter laws, but many may not know there are already several background checks people have to go through before they can take a gun home. So if you're going to get a handgun or an assault style firearm, a military type of knockoff like an AR like you see in the wall behind us, you would need what we call a permit to purchase in the state of Minnesota. So you have to go to your local law enforcement agency, fill out an application, there's a 7 to 10 day waiting period, they do a background check on you and then they give you this permit to purchase. After that process, the gun shop then does a federal background check before anyone can purchase a firearm. While this topic continues to be controversial, the governor says all he wants is compromise. I'm asking these folks to meet me halfway, 50-50, to give us an opportunity to compromise. Meredith Hackler, CCX News. Now, Minnesota has the only divided legislature in the country, and Republican leaders like Warren Limmer of Maple Grove say there would have to be a wide consensus for any gun bill to be seriously considered.